Hi friends, I'm Inu from GTNFSForzaCars.com and hope you are having a great time. What you are about to see is part of an educational series of videos which would show you lap times by sim cars uh, from different popular games, sim, sim simulation games and running on some of the most famous racing circuits around the world. Now, we won't really promise you that we are the fastest sim racers in the world or anything like that. But what we can assure you is that we will be running only stock cars which are not tuned uh, at all of any kind. There is no tuning. And also, sim cars from one particular game will be tested on one single track and they will be driven by the same sim racer. I mean, all cars from one game on one track will be driven by the same sim racer. So, there is no scope of a car being faster than another just because it was driven by a faster sim racer. And uh, we're doing this so, so that you can have a comparison uh, uh, on the with the sim cars running on the same track with the same stock specs, no tunes driven by the same racer so that you can compare them with their real life counterparts as well uh, to whom they very closely resemble. So today we are testing the 2011 Toyota iGo from the Forza Motorsport 4 on the top gear test track doing the one mile drag. This is the 2011 Toyota iGo doing one mile drag on the top gear test track The Peugeot 107 2011 did lap uh, the one mile drag in 51.485 seconds. This is a small, more small car and 2011 Forza Motorsport 4 Toyota Ico doing a one mile drag on the top gear test track. The C1 uh, did the one mile drag in 51.251 seconds. The Ford car in 52.703 seconds. So the official lap time for the 2011 Toyota Igo on the top gear test track one mile drag is 52.019 seconds. A little faster than the Ford car but a lot slower than the Peugeot or the Citroen or the Volkswagen Fox. So the GTNFS ForzaCars.com official lap time posted by the 2011 Toyota Igo on the top gear test track for the one mile drag is 52.019 seconds 52.019 seconds now coming to what all cars we will be testing and which all simulation games they will belong to we will be testing every car from Forza Motorsport 4 including all the cars that are about to be released in future DLCs we will be testing every premium car from Gran Turismo 5. Uh, why the premium cars only from Gran Turismo 5? Because the standard cars and the premium cars are really very different and also you don't get standard cars in the in-game Gran Turismo dealerships so I would only consider the premium cars to be a uh, heart and soul and very much a part of the Gran Turismo 5 car list so all the premium cars from the Gran Turismo 5 including the ones that are about to be released through uh, future DLCs and also we will be testing cars from shift to unleashed and in this case we'll be only testing selected cars from this game because the handling physics and everything in this game is really not up to the mark but then this is a very popular simulation if you're talking about cross-platform simulations this is available on the Xbox 360 PS3 and the PC we will be testing uh, selected cars from this game and we'll, we'll be also be testing the works version of some of the cars uh, which are definitely not realistic but we will use the stock versions as well and the works version and both will be untuned there'll be no tuning of any kind on any of the cars and also some speed hunters uh, DLC cars which are good to drive so these three and apart from this we'll also be testing cars from GTR 2 uh, dedicated simulation game for the PC uh, 
why GTR 2 which is very old because GTR 2 is one of the last games on to come on PC that has licensed Porsches and Ferraris why not R Factor there are Porsches and R Factor too but again Porsches on R Factor are mostly community developed they are great to drive they are awesome but again uh, if you you are testing something uh, on the on the virtual arena to compare them to the real life counterparts i think we should go for company licensed simulation cars only so that's the reason r factor is not that but again we are definitely waiting for r factor 2 to release and hoping that there are some good licensed manufactured licensed um, cars there in the r factor 2 car list and we would be testing on tracks like There'll be Spa Francochamps, which is there on the Gran Turismo 5 and Shift 2, Monza, Gran Turismo 5, Shift 2, Hockenheim, Shift 2, and Forza 4, Top Gear Test Track, Forza 4, and Gran Turismo 5, Top Gear Test Track, One Mile Drag, mm, Nürburgring GP, Silverstone GP, Suzuka Full Circuit, Laguna Seca, uh, one of the few tracks which is present in the Gran Turismo Forza and the shift to Monaco and there are a few others which uh, I think it's best for you if you would uh, just like our Facebook page which is gtnfsforzacars.com on Facebook and we are also providing a link to that page on the description menu below the video and you can just subscribe to us on YouTube so that you are updated on every video that we upload on YouTube for the future. So hope you're having a great time and thanks for watching and all the best for everything you do in life. This is Inu saying big big thank you from GTNFSForzaCars.com. Signing out. Bye bye.